scrap steel comes to a steel mini mill in a variety of shapes and sizes. Old automobiles, refrigerators, farm implements, and other discarded scrap steel comes already processed by scrap yards via truck or rail, or is processed on site by shredders. A ladle containing 90 tons of molten steel is positioned on top of the casting tower. A slide gate on the bottom of the ladle is opened, allowing the steel to flow into a tundish. The steel flows through the tundish into four water-cooled oscillating copper molds that form the steel into billets. A solidifying exterior and a semi-liquid interior allows the billets to curve from a vertical to a horizontal position as they leave the caster. The roughing mill section of stands does the majority of the reduction work. The intermediate mill begins to give bars their shapes and the finishing mill puts the final touches on the product. A flying shear cuts the rolled bar as it goes through the mill stands. The rolled bars exit the mill onto a football field sized cooling bed which walks the bar over to make room for new bars coming off the mill. The cooling bed is designed to hold bars until they cool sufficiently for shearing. The back shear cuts bars to customer requested lengths. Automated bundling systems prepare products for movement by overhead crane to storage areas or directly to customer trucks or rail cars. Bar products are stored in well-identified storage bays. The recycling process comes full circle. What was once an automobile is being shipped to job sites in the form of rebar for new highways or structures.